And I'm leaving or going through Beach, North Dakota. Yesterday was a tough day. Um, I don't think I was recovered completely from the day before. and <laughs> It was bad. So I only made about, I think it was 39 miles yesterday. Uh, today, the goal is Denison or Dickinson, North Dakota. 60 mile day, shouldn't be awful. Legs feel better after the rest. I was gonna take 95 or 94 or whatever down there to the next town, but they're working on half of it and the trucks are way too close. <laughs> so I'm gonna do the official route to Medora today and then switch back on after Medora to get to Denison so that's the goal um, haven't actually gone through beach yet the motel I stayed at was real close to the road so just gotta get warmed up here and try and enjoy the day. Planning a day off tomorrow, which I think my body really needs. I think it's been uh, about a week since I was in Great Falls. I took a day off. So, looking forward to that. But yeah my first full day in North Dakota. I passed over the border yesterday but there was no welcome to North Dakota sign <laughs> so I couldn't take a picture. Uh, couldn't take a picture of it but you know it was... I would have if it was there but you know it didn't really matter. I wasn't really feeling it yesterday. So it's nice and cool this morning, it's 69 degrees, so... Yesterday was pretty cool all day too, but uh, the sun was still high and so it was a sweaty day, but the temperature wasn't that bad. Oh great. So they're working on this road too? <laughs> uh, might be a fun riding day construction but if anything interesting happens, I will let you know. After riding through the country for two weeks, um, <laughs> I kind of know what some of these uh, farm machines do nowadays now, because I've watched them go in the field and I see them for sale on the side of the road and I was like, I know what that does. <laughs> we'll see what they, if it's true what they say about North Dakota. There's always tailwinds and the road is flat. We'll see about that. <laughs> they said Montana was flat too, but that's not true. Not at all. Uh, I'll be finishing section three of the map of the route today. get me to I think about almost 1400 miles on my trip which is kind of incredible for me <laughs> to think about 1400 miles and knock on wood no major bike issues the only thing I had was my 
my headlamp, my generator. The wiring kind of got messed up. And it wasn't working and it was being pulled out of the dynamo. And in Cut Bank, I was able to find like some old like stereo wiring harnesses they were trying to get rid of for like five dollars and I bought one of those and got the wiring I needed to kind of rebuild the connector and it's been working a lot better but so far everything else of the bike has been has been good I had to adjust my belt a little bit because I think it was it got stretched out from all the mountain climbing I was doing through Washington and Montana and so I tightened that a little bit and, but otherwise no flats yet at all these tires have been really great um, I do have this weird reoccurring thing with my rear hub I might have somebody to look at if I stand up on my bike a weird way um, it'll have this weird kind of sound like it's rubbing against something like almost like it's rubbing on my fender but it can't be my fender so yeah I'm planning to stop in Medora for lunch so it should be a three three hours away or so so right before lunch I should get there And then another three hours to Denison or Dickinson. I keep calling it Denison, but it's Dickinson. Dickinson. <laughs> All right. If I see anything interesting, I will turn the camera back on and catch a hold of you. Talk to you later. late breakfast some pancakes and some hash browns and an omelette feeling full <laughs> I have about uh, 36 miles until I get to Dickinson so and it's only 1130 I have all day to get there <laughs> I'm gonna be heading uh, back on to I-94 for a little while and then back on old Highway 10 to Dickinson. It's getting warm. I don't know what the temperature is. Temperature is uh, 79. Not too bad. It's about 11.30. It doesn't really get really hot until the afternoons here, like 2 or 3, which is weird. So, 
Anyway, I'll catch you later. I don't know if you can see that over there. How good the camera is, but... I just came up this big climb. It's a cool... desert down there. Dickinson, North Dakota. Had a nice day off yesterday. Good rest. Pretty much all I did was eat and sleep yesterday. So that, that was a good, good rest day. So today I'm heading to Bismarck, North Dakota. about a hundred miles today so I'm gonna try to plan my first back-to-back -back hundred mile days it looks pretty flat and it's tending the course is trending downhill so let's see how it goes I've been going back and forth between staying on route or staying on the interstate. And I think I'm going to stay on route today since it's a, it's a longer day and there's no, there's not as many resupplies on the interstate. So that's the plan. So if anything interesting happens or changes, I'll let you know. Um, I'll talk to you later. Well, this is kind of a cute town. I'm a little disappointed. <laughs> a little disappointed. I didn't venture out of my hotel yesterday. Well, it was a hard day. It was a rest day. Nice and cool this morning. Looks like I stay cruising on this road for 50 miles. <laughs> Trail. 
my last <coughs> little section before I get to Bismarck. It was, in, <laughs> it was funny, I've been chatting with this guy on. I guess he lives in this town and he saw me, he knew I was doing this trip and he saw me ride by and he stopped um, at the beginning of this cycle track because he figured I'd be taking it and he stopped and said hi, he was cute. We chatted a little bit. It was fun. I'm about a hundred and three miles in. I think it's gonna be about 110 miles today. Um it was okay. It wasn't the hardest hundred miles I did, but it was pretty hilly. <laughs> you know, people tell me <clears throat> North Dakota is flat, but it really isn't. It's so far, it's been pretty hilly and some steep hills, but not as bad as, I mean, I had way worse hilly days, but I was expecting this to be a, kind of an easy day, but it was uh, it was not easy. <clears throat> I think this last piece is probably going to be easy, but but the guy I chatted with, he said, "Oh, it flattens out after the Missouri River." We'll see. <laughs> I don't believe anybody anymore. <laughs> this is a nice bike trail though, I like it. Evening. So it's about 7.30. It's about when I expected to get here. Um, I, car I crossed the time zone, so I lost an hour, so. In the old time zone I was at, it's only 6.30. It's about, I'm about on schedule where I thought it would be. So that's good. But now I'm five hours Five hours difference from Hawaii, so it's a blessing and a curse. <laughs> um, but yeah, if I see anything else cool, then I'll turn the camera on. Catch you later. Well, it looks like I'm about to cross the Missouri River. That's cool.